Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Minds. My name is Asan Khurram and in this channel, I teach programming skills in MATLAB, Python and R programming. I also teach theoretical concepts as well as practical programming skills in data science. So I request you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell icon button. Uh, I have been publishing series of videos uh, about foundational programming in MATLAB. This is where I will teach beginners who have no idea how to write code in MATLAB. I will teach them from the basics uh, so they can actually write their own code in MATLAB. So in today's lecture or tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how we can actually solve system of equations using MATLAB, okay? So we will define, first of all, I will teach you how to actually uh, generate system of equations in MATLAB and what is symbolic calculation in MATLAB. So we are going to discuss all about that. So symbolic calculations in MATLAB are such that symbolic mathematics means doing mathematics on symbols. So it's doing mathematics on symbols, not on numbers. This may or may not be a part of your own system. The symbolic math toolbox includes an alternative method for solving equation. Therefore, this is what we have covered in this lecture. MATLAB has a type class SYMS, which stands for symbolic variables and expressions. These works with and this works with strings. Okay. First, a symbolic variable would be created by passing a string A to the SYMS function, then perform desired operations. So what it actually means that first of all we have to de uh, define a symbolic function. So it can perform the calculation symbolically, not number wise. So how we can actually do that? First, you have to write uh, SYMS first, then you will define the symbolic variable. In this case, I had defined the symbolic variable to be X. Now, after I have done that, now I can perform uh, calculations on the symbolic variable and see the results of it. For example, in the first calculation, I'm doing the addition of two uh, these uh, symbolic variables. And in the second operation, I'm multiplying these two, uh, the same uh, symbolic variable two times. So let me just run this block of code for you. Now you see that when uh, I put X plus X, it gives me 2x. And when I multiply x with x, it gives me x squared. So now the calculations are being done symbolically instead of numbers. And when you see here, uh, you see that x is defined as symbolic variable in the workspace environment. That is contrary uh, to what we actually define in MATLAB. For example, I have like say uh, var is equal to two. So this, you can say that this is the uh, variable name var that has a value two in it and its class is double. But on the contrary, x is actually a symbolic variable. So that's how you actually define a symbolic variable in MATLAB. You are using SYMS and x. That being said, symbolic variables can also store expressions. The variable b and c store symbolic expressions all basic mathematical operations can be performed on those symbolic variables and expression. For example, we can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, divide, raise to the power, and etc. In this case, I have initialized a variable b and I have put equal to sign. Then I have defined an expression x plus 2. So x plus 2 is an expression. So when I run it, you see that I get x plus 2 as an expression. In the same way, I can define another expression where I have defined the expression as x power 2 plus x minus 3. So now you can see uh, it has been uh, defined in uh, symbolic expressions. Now, that's good. Now you know how to actually define a uh, equation or an expression in MATLAB. Now the major concern arises that how we are actually going to solve those uh, expressions in MATLAB. So we have a symbolic variable. So we have a second order polynomial x squared plus x minus 3. So how you can actually solve these symbolic variables in MATLAB. So the for this purpose, the sub function will substitute a value for a symbolic variable in an expression. For example, you have an expression like this here. When we use sub function, it will substitute a value in place of x and calculates the value. 
with symbolic math, MATLAB works by default with rational numbers, meaning that the results are kept in fraction form. Uh, performing the addition 1 over 3, 1 by 2 would normally result in a double value. However, by making the expression symbolic, the result is, is also symbolic. So it's the type of the results will not be a double type. It will be also be a symbolic type. You need to convert that symbolic type results into a double type. Any numerical function could have that change that function. Okay. And then there's a num dum function, which will return separately the numerator and denominator of the symbolic expression. Let me show you how. So this is your expression here my x expression, we initialize a variable and then we declare an expression which is x power 3 plus x 3 into x power 2 minus 2. So this is the expression here. And let's uh, uh, substitute the value uh, 3 in it, okay? So for example, we are substituting the value 3 by 2. And this sub function, what it does, it will substitute the value of x or whatever the value you put here into the input argument, it will substitute that value and calculate the resultant value. So when I write that here, for example, sub, uh, I will pass two input argument. The first input argument will be the expression and the second input argument will be the value. In our case, I'm setting it three by two. Now you see that I get the value of 65 by eight. Now, what if I change this value to two? I will get another answer, but keep that in mind, the answer is symbolic. It means that it's not in the double format. So in order to convert that, we have to actually do what? Uh, convert that uh, result and answer into double type. We can simply do that by writing this function double and within those round bracket, we'll pass input argument, uh, the expression that has been substituted by a specific value. So that's how you do it, okay? Now, that's good. You know how to substitute value of x and calculate a value. Now, let's move on and actually uh, discuss about how we can actually solve an equation in MATLAB. The solve function is used for solving algebraic equations. If the equation involves multiple symbols, then MATLAB by defined assume that you are solving for x. However, the solve command has another form. You can also mention the variable for example, uh, we want to solve the equation v minus u minus 3t2 or t3 square is equal to 0 for v. So we can solve this equation for v, we can solve this equation for u, and we can also solve this equation for uh, t. Based on this format here, we will write function of MATLAB solve. Uh, within the drawn buckets, we will pass two input arguments. The first input argument will be the equation you have to actually defined, and the second input argument will be the variable uh, for which you actually want to solve the equation. So that's how you define the solve function in MATLAB. So keep that in mind always that when you are dealing with symbolic calculation, first of all, you have to define a symbolic variable. So we can do that by using this MATLAB statement here, SYMS, then the function, uh, symbolic variable name X, okay. That being said, now we are going to write solve function here. Then we are going to write the equation here. So X minus five is equal to zero. Keep that in mind, you have to actually put two equal to sign in order to define or tell MATLAB that X minus five is equal to zero don't put one equal to is equal to zero. Okay. And then you say that I want to solve this equation for X. Okay. Solve me this equation for X. And when it does that, we get answer is equal to five, that X is equal to five, that X has a value of five in there. Okay. Now that was a quite a simple, uh, equation. Now let's move on into a question where we have three variables u, t, v. First of all, we will define the symbolic variables. Then uh, we will write uh, MATLAB function solve and within the round bracket, we will pass first input argument, which will have v, u, t and the form equation uh, equal to zero. And then equal, uh, after comma, we will define for which variable we actually want to solve this equation. So first of all, let me solve this equation for v. So I will just 
enter now you see that this has equation has been solved for v so v is equal to 3 t is power 2 plus u but what if we want to solve this equation for t i will simply just replace the value of v by t and that's how you actually calculate the value of t here that being said, let's move on and actually see how we can actually solve quadratic equations in MATLAB. The solve function can also solve higher order equations. The function returns the root of equations in an array and then it solves the quadratic equations. For, for example, let's say we have a quadratic equation x power 2 minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we want to solve this quadratic equations. It's quite easy to do. First of all, you will know that we have already declared our symbolical variables uh, at top. So we don't need to define again here, okay? So this is just for your revision. Once we done that, now if you recall that, we can actually uh, define a symbolic expression and store in a variable name eq. So here we have declared a variable name eq and then we have in the eq we have stored equation uh, which is quadratic form. Then we are going to solve the equation by using solve function and passing the input argument eq. Uh, by default, if you don't pass anything, the MATLAB will think that you want to actually solve this for x, okay? So that being said, when I done that, uh, the s will have two values of x because this is a quadratic equation, so we will have two values of x in it, okay? So if you see that, uh, when we run that, our first root is 3 and then our second root is 4. So we can actually solve quadratic equation by using the help of symbolic calculations in MATLAB. Now you know how to solve a quadratic equations in MATLAB by using solve function and display its value uh, by using s uh, by using a index s1, s2. For example, if I write, just write s, now you see that uh, S is in the form of structure. Uh, we will later see what does a structure mean as we come on to the next problem here. Okay. So solving higher order equations in MATLAB. The solve command can also solve higher order equations in MATLAB. For example, we want to solve a cubic equation the, in the form of this equation. For example, x minus 3 power 2 and x minus 7, they are multiplied and this is a equation of cubic equation. For higher order equations, roots are long containing many terms. So if you want to actually get the value, actual value of the solution, you can use this double function that will convert this symbolic uh, variable into a double or real number. So right now here, you see we have uh, declared a variable name y and we have equal to uh, by calculating uh, this equation here, solving this equation for x here by using this uh, MATLAB function solve and passing the first input argument is the equation and the second input argument is uh, letting MATLAB know what for what variable we actually want to solve this equation for. In that case, we are solving it for x and that when it solves it, it will store the values in y. So now y has three values, uh, 5 by 7, 7 by 5, 3 and 3. Now you can easily convert this uh, y, which is actually was a uh, symbolic variable into a double variable by using this MATLAB function. Okay, that's good. Now let's move on to another interesting concept here. How we can actually solve system equations. Now we have already said that, okay, we know how to solve for x, but let's say uh, we have three unknown variables and three set of equations. And we want to solve this uh, set of equations in MATLAB by using symbolic calculation. The solve function can also be used to generate solution for system of equations involving more than one variable. So this is your system of equation here, x plus three y minus two z is equal to five, three x plus five y plus six z is equal to seven, two x plus four y plus three z is equal to eight. Now, first of all, in order to solve uh, any symbolic calculation. First of all, we have to declare the symbolic variables in MATLAB. For this purpose, we will write SYMS XYZ. Once we done that, we will use solve function and store its value in S variable. Now we will pass to input argument to this solve function here. Uh, the first input argument will be the set of equations here. Okay, so now you see that I have uh, 
put three sets of equation. Uh, these three set of equations are being separated by comma and MATLAB will automatically solve this set of equations to give you the values of X, Y, Z. So that's how you put three set of equations in solve functions. And once you've done that, you will get a structure with the values X, Y, Z. And structure can be accessed in MATLAB by the use of dot notation. For example, if I want to access the value of X, I will write S dot X. It, give me, it will give me the value of what the value of X for this specific solution. And for example, if I want to assess the value of Y, so I will write S dot Y. And hit enter, now you get the value of Y. Uh, so now you know how to actually solve a system of equations in MATLAB. Uh, there are other set of uh, uh, functions or uh, interesting thing that you can do with symbolic variables in MATLAB. The first one is called expanding and collecting equation. The expand and the collect command expands and collects an equation respectively. When you work with many symbolic functions, you should declare that your variables are symbolic. The expand function will multiply out terms. The collect function collects coefficients. Uh, now we will create a skip and type the following code. For example, we first of all, we will declare our variables, symbolic variable by using this MATLAB statement. Then uh, this is the MATLAB, uh, this is the symbolic expression, which uh, is in the form of X minus five multiplied by X plus nine. When you use expand, it will multiply out the terms. So now you can see that the extra terms have been multiplied. And the same thing has been actually done in the next a MATLAB statement, which uh, where X has been multiplied, X plus two multiplied by X minus three to X plus one. Now it will multiply out terms. So what does collect do? Collect will actually do what? Collects coefficient. So that's what we have done here. When you write the MATLAB function collect and within that collect function, you will write the expression. It will simplify the term. So that's how you do it, okay? Now, Let's move on and actually discuss about the factorization and simplification of algebraic equations. The factor function factorizes an equation and simplify function simplifies an expression. Simply, simplify function does whatever it can do to simplify expressions, including gathering like terms. Now, uh, for example, in order to do the calculation, first of all, we will declare our variable by using SYMS X comma Y. And then we will use the factor factor function in MATLAB and we will pass input argument uh, uh, an expression of that of uh, symbolic variable X and Y. It will calculate the factors of that symbolic variables. Okay, so that's what it will do. In the same way we have X power two minus Y minus two, it will calculate the factors of that symbolic expression. Okay, keep that in mind, this is a symbolic expression and this is a MATLAB function. So we are passing a symbolic expression to this MATLAB function as an input argument. Now let's move on to simplify. So I told you that simplify function but do whatever it can do to simplify the expression. So that's what it has done here. So we have like X power four minus 16 and X minus two min uh, minus four, which is in the division form. So when we run this MATLAB statement, now you can say it has been simplified. So that's uh, uh, it for uh, now. Uh, you learned how to solve a system of equations in MATLAB by using symbolic calculation. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Uh, in the upcoming video, I will discuss about functions in MATLAB, how you can actually write your own functions in MATLAB. I will teach you about the loops in MATLAB, for loop, while loop. I will teach you about if else statements. So I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button so you can get the notification when I publish my next video. Thank you for joining me and I will catch you soon in the next video.